Have your education assessed. Skill immigrants express entry. Who needs an ECA? An educational credential assessment ECA is used to verify that your foreign degree, diploma, certificate, or other proof of your credential is valid and equal to the Canadian one. If you have a Canadian degree, diploma, or certificate, you do not need to get an ECA for that credential. You will need to get an ECA for your foreign degree, diploma, or certificate if you want to be considered for the Federal Skilled Worker Program on the Express Entry and you are the principal applicant and you got your education outside Canada or you want to receive comprehensive ranking system points for your foreign education for yourself as an Express Entry candidate or for your spouse or common law partner coming with you to Canada. The ECA Report the ECA report must show that your completed foreign credential, degree, diploma, certificate is equal to a completed Canadian secondary school, high school, or post-secondary credential. You must submit an ECA for all levels of completed foreign education you want us to consider. It is up to you to decide which credentials you have assessed by the Cinere organization. Depending on your case, you may want to have both your secondary and post-secondary credentials assessed, and not just your highest completed foreign credential. You will not get any points of your foreign education under the CRS in Express Entry or be eligible under the Federal Skilled Worker if the result of your ECA reports does not match at least one of the results in the conversion table. what ECA is not. An ECA can give you early feedback on how your credentials compare to those in Canada. It may also help when you are looking for a job, but assess, assess does not guarantee that. You will get a job in your field or at certain level. Your work experience and professional credentials are automatically recognized in Canada or you will be licensed to practice in a regulated profession. Please check Job Bank to learn more about the job market outlook for your occupation in the specific region where you plan to settle. If you plan to work in a regular profession, you must still get your license in the province or territory that you plan on settling in. A regulatory authority will decide if you can be licensed in a profession. They will assess factors such as your education, experience, competencies and language skills, as well as other factors. You should contact the regulatory authority in the province where you plan to live as soon as possible. They can give you information about the process for being licensed, including steps you can take before you leave your home country. How does ECA work? CIC will only accept an ECA from one of the organizations designated by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC. The original ECA report must be issued on or after the day IRCC designated the organization, not be more than five years old on the day that ICC gets your express entry profile and be your application for permanent residence. And show your credentials is equal to a completed Canadian one. Note, you will have to provide the reference number from the ECA report in your express entry profile, as well as in your application for permanent residence, along with proof of your foreign credential. If CSC cannot validate the number you enter, you will need to provide an electronic copy to confirm. Keep a copy in case you need to see it. What happens if I don't include an ECA report? If you are invited to apply for permanent residence and you don't include this assessment and proof of your foreign credential when you apply, your application is not complete and will not be accepted for processing. Any fees submitted will be returned and you will need to submit a new express entry profile to be considered in the future. Before you submit the profile, check the ECA conversion table to confirm that the result on your ECA report matches at least one of the assessment results listed. You can see how many points 
you would get for your foreign education under the CRS or the Federal Skilled Worker Selection Grid based on the results of your report. Testing area organizations for ACAs. You can get your assessment from Comparative Education Service, University of Toronto School of Continuing Studies, International Credential Assessment Service of Canada, World Education Services, International Qualification Assessment Service, International Credential Evaluation Service, Medical Council of Canada, Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada, Professional Body for Pharmacists. How to choose a designated organization. If you are applying as a specialist physician, NOC 3111, or general protectional family physician, NOC 3112, the Medical Council of Canada, MCC, must do an ECA for your primary medical diploma. As a pharmacist, NOC 3131, if you need a license to practice, for example, providing patient care in a community pharmacy, hospital pharmacy, long-term care facility, or other practice settings, the Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada, PEVC, must do your ECA. If you are in a position where you do not need a license, organizations such as pharmaceutical in industry and government, which require a pharmacy degree because of the education or skill set, but may not require a license to practice pharmacy, you can have your credentials assessed by one of the other designated ECA organization. Contact the regulatory authority in the province where you plan to live to find out if you need a license to practice your intended occupation. Under any other occupation, check the website of the other CIC designated organizations or contact them directly to find out which one best suits your needs. Consider some designated organizations partner with certain regulatory bodies or large employers. In that case, the ECA you get for applying to CIC might also help you later on. For each one, you should check to find out what other organizations recognize their assessment. Find out what documents you need. Find out how much it will cost. Costs may vary by organization. Find out how long an assessment will take. Note, CIC uses assessment done by the MCC or the PEBC for immigration purposes. They are also used in the process of licensing for those professions. Please contact the regulatory authority in the province where you plan to live for more information about getting a license. How to get an ECA? Once you have chosen an organization, gather all the documents they need. Make sure that you ask for a school for multiple copies of your diploma, degrees, transcript, etc. Follow any instructions given to submit the documents and pay the fees. What your report means. The organization will give you an original report that will tell you whether your credentials are valid and if they are equal to a completed Canadian one. If your assessment report shows that your completed foreign credential is equal to a completed Canadian one, you can include this information in your express entry profile. You will get points under the CRS for your highest credential found equal to a completed Canadian one. If you may be eligible to receive points for certain combination of two post-secondary credentials, whether Canadian foreign equivalent or a combination of both. If you are invited to apply for permanent residence, you will need to include your ECA reference number when you apply. If your report shows that your credential is not equal to a completed Canadian credential, you will not meet the education requirement on the Federal Skilled Worker Program. You will not get any points under the CRS. Use the Come to Canada tool to see if you could be considered under another program. 
If you are getting an ECA report from the Medical Council of Canada or the Pharmacy Examining Board of Canada, your ECA report must show that your foreign education credentials are equal to the Canadian credentials needed to practice that occupation in Canada. Submitting your report. report. Report the results of the ECA in your Express Entry Profile. Keep all original report or assessment documents for your electronic application for permanent residence. You may have to provide them later. Keep a second copy of the report for your records. Do not request that your ECA report be sent to CIC directly by the assessment agency. You must include a ECAC reference number with your complete application for permanent residence. If you are invited to apply under the Federal Skilled Worker Program, the 100-point Federal Skilled Worker Program Selection Grid assesses applicants against six main criteria. To pass, you need 67 points or more. CIC will award you a maximum of 25 points based on the level of education compared to a Canadian standards. Keep in mind, if you were educated outside Canada, you will only be eligible for the Federal Skilled Worker or get CRS points for your education if you submit an ECA. See the conversion table to see how many points you would get for different credentials based on the outcome statement included on the USA report. CIC will verify the submitted ECA with the organization that produced the report. There's a tool online that can help you understand how to read your report. We want to take a look at it. Once we visit the Government of Canada website, we can find the Educational Credential Assessment Tool. That's going to help uh, to read the report of the ECA. What we can see here in this uh, page is basically the information about Express Entry's Education Factor, and it gives us uh, a list of the, the different university degrees and how many points you will get based on your ECA results. For example, we can see in this part, start with the university degree at the doctorate, PhD, and it tells us the ECA assessment results, all oh, earned doctorate degree, earned PhD, and just below, it gives us this, uh, the different points that we can get based on that ECA result. For the present comprehensive ranking system for this with the spouse will be 140 points. With our spouse will be 150 points. And if you're applying under the Federal Skilled Worker Program, then if you're going to get 25 points in that factor. If we continue to the master level, again we see the ECA assessment results and then again you're going to give us 126 points for the with the spouse for the enter compression ranking system with our spouse we would get 135 points and the first skill worker if we're applying under that uh, program we would get 23 points then we continue When he mentioned the professional degree needed to practice a licensed profession, and he just we have just a list here of all the professions and all the results under the ECE assessment: medicine, veterinary medicine, dentistry, optometry, law, pharmacy, and also then at the end, of course, it tells us how many points. 126 with a spouse, 135 without a spouse, and if it's under a first skilled worker, we will get 23 points. Then we go to the section of two or more certificate diplomas or degrees. Again, a three year or more certificate diploma or degree. In this section, it's not including high school, ECA resource. And then tell us 119 points, 128 points, and for Federal Skilled Worker, 22 points. Then we continue down with the bachelor degree. 
the ECA assessment results with all the titles, three years, three years, bachelor degree, three years, and again we have the, all the information. So basically, this tool just gives us the guidelines of how many points you will get based on the result of your ECA. So as soon as you get the, the, your results from the ECA, the, from the organization, just visit this page and you'll be able to calculate how many points you will get based on these results. Thank you very much.